What is up guys? It is Tony here and today we are checking out Elder Scrolls Online on the M1 MacBook Air. This is the 7 core GPU with 8 gigabytes of RAM, the base model. Um, so for some reason uh, it is not giving me true full screen from the get-go. I have my dock down here um, but I have it on hide mode. And I have the the, uh, the toolbar up here for some reason, but we'll figure that out in a second, hopefully. Okay, so apparently I do have a character. Uh, I did play this game once, long time ago on my gaming PC. Um, haven't played since. Now, how can I change the settings here? Because this dock is really bothering me. Settings. So let's do full screen, actual full screen. The resolution's maxing out at 900p for whatever reason. Um, I'm gonna turn graphics to ultra. So right off the bat, there's something very wrong with the trackpad support. Um, it's just not, it's just spinning everywhere uncontrollably. And yeah, that's kind of annoying. Um, I don't even have a USB-C mouse or a Bluetooth mouse I could hook up. I actually have a Bluetooth trackpad for my main setup, so I don't know what to do about this. The game is running smooth as butter, maxed out, so I mean literally no frames are dropping at all. So I know this game runs good. Something very strange is going on with the trackpad. I don't know what I could do to fix that. I'm just making sure my other trackpad isn't connected. That might be the issue, but it's not. So, all right, I could say without a doubt at this point that this is definitely a game you're going to want to run uh, with a mouse. Um, but I think you guys knew that because obviously any game that's uh, engaging, that's FPS, third person, you're gonna wanna obviously have a mouse. Um, but that being said, I kinda wish that they would at least make the trackpad usable. You know, in most FPSs, it works just like a mouse, just with your finger on a trackpad. Um, but with this one, as you can see, there's this weird acceleration going on where it's just moving around uh, aimlessly at whatever direction I originally, you know, like last was going. And it's very sloppy. I don't know why it's doing this. This is the first time I've encountered this with all of the games I've been playing on this MacBook. Um, so it's very unique to Elder Scrolls. But that being said, this is ultra right here. Um, fully maxed out. And I am running around here playing at what you'd expect a console to give you. You know, smooth, buttery performance, able to move around. Uh, no problem, no frames dropped at all. And this game just looks gorgeous. Even at that 900p max resolution, this game looks gorgeous on this retina display. I'd love to play this just with my trackpad, not needing to be at a computer desk. Um, I mean, this thing is running cool. Like, not cool, but like, not high. Um, there's a little bit of warmth right here. I mean, I could put my fingers down and it doesn't feel hot to the touch at all, but it definitely feels warm. I feel some warmth coming out right here, but the keys, um, very slightly warm right here, and the rest of them are cool as a cucumber. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing. I mean, of course, the whole computer is like right here, pretty much. So here you go, just a quick little demo of Elder Scrolls Online. Um, sorry I didn't get into action too much, but considering how buttery smooth this is, um, fully maxed out, this, this is pretty much all the performance you're going to need right here in a base model 7 core 8 uh, gigabyte MacBook Air, which basically means that if you are looking to get yourself a laptop that you could use and you're looking at these Macs um, and you're looking to get a good value, this is the one to go with, probably with a 512 gigabyte uh, hard drive. If you're gonna use it a lot at home, you can do external, of course. Um, and you're gonna get a nice machine that could you know, run, if you're really into Elder Scrolls, it could run this game 
uh, as well as any gaming computer would need to. Um, you will be able to drive uh, drive an external display and get this frame rate as well um, with a higher refresh rate. But again, like I'm very surprised at how good the 60 hertz on this Retina display does look. Um, it doesn't feel like there's any terrible latency or anything. This feels completely playable. Um, so, you know, it's pretty impressive considering. So there you go. Thank you for watching this demo. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys have any uh, games that you guys would like to see playing on this MacBook M1, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll get to it as soon as I can, if I can, because of course not every game does run. So keep that in mind. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.